Yo, what's good, good people? This your boy Southside Man, the truck boss. Hey, it's Friday, checking in with you. Like I said, I might, but uh, we here in uh, Florence, Kentucky. You know, we got some, we got some uh, high winds and rain and all kind of mess going on right now. But you know, it's nothing to a boss. So we're gonna keep moving. We're gonna keep trucking. We're gonna do it safely though. But look like we all good to head back to uh, Winchester, Virginia. So, uh, just wanted to check in with y'all. You know, like I told y'all before, you're going to have some good weeks and bad weeks. And so far, uh, last week was a bad week because of uh, one of my loads was double booked. So, when I got here, somebody else had already picked my load up. And uh, and with that, I was deadheading uh, quite a long way. Uh, it paid, The load pays good, so that's why I was deadheading. And I pretty much know uh, how much fuel I need to put in there. But... When I got here and I could, I was unable to pick up the load. Then I lost the day because I sat here. You know, it threw me off. So this week's paycheck ain't good, you know, because of that load. Now, you know, shout out to my DM, Michael. He said he's going to send it up. And they said, uh, you know, they're going to, you know, take care of me. So it would have been nice to go ahead and see that reflected on my check. So I'd be looking for it next check. So, you know, well, when things happen like this, you just don't fly off the handle, of course. You know, you got to keep moving. You know, things going to happen. It's just trucking. You know, things ain't never going to go your way. You know, it sucks when you, you when you do, uh, when you're supposed to do a job and then you don't get paid for it. But it's just part of it, you know. I've had it happen one time before and I was able to get paid, you know. This load paying so good, I don't know if they're going to actually pay me the whole thing or how they're going to do it. But, you know, we'll just see. But, you know. For the most part, this week been been good. Uh, I, I ran all my loads. I was trying to find um, loads to add on to it, but the thing about this, they strict on delivery and pickup time, so I don't want to pick anything that's gonna you know mess up me getting shut down from my break and then arriving early. So I just I just been keeping it simple. You know, it's three loads, then I did head back to pick up another load. So uh, so this week I did all my loads and uh, I'm. I'm actually here now picking up my next one and I deliver it tomorrow and I take my 34. So that's pretty much it for me. It was a tough week because uh, they changed my time. So on Monday, I pick up at five o'clock and then the following two days, uh, they got me picking up at nine o'clock. So, uh, you know, it kind of messing with me a little bit. It kind of messed with me this week, but last night was pretty good. You know, I didn't have any problems and I was able to sleep better today uh instead of going to sleep and then waking up and staying up i just you know woke up a little bit and then i went back to sleep and woke up at the time that i'm supposed to check in actually so we'll see how this this works uh tonight but uh last night was pretty good you know and uh i made it through here got got here about seven o'clock this morning you know and i just rested and stayed stayed down you know what i'm saying so um yeah, we we seen a couple of good, you know, loads on the board. Uh, uh, and the thing the thing is, you gotta really be hawking the load board. Like I said, I see people out there trying to steal my lingo too. You know, I got that chicken hawking thing from Mac Ten. If you ain't listening to Mac Ten back in the day, you got it from me. I'm telling you that right now. So yeah, you gotta stay over here chicken hawking on this load board. Uh, if you don't, you're not gonna see anything. You know what what. What they do have, you're not gonna see it because because I was looking at a load today. I was thinking about going to pick it up after after I dropped this load, and these loads used to be available. So uh, I think it's a Glad over there in Virginia, Glad you know the Glad um, trash bag manufacturer. So I was thinking about going to get that and trying to run it to Texas, but I was trying to calculate you know what I need to calculate. But some said, Nah, just go ahead and pick that joint. So it wasn't even 20 seconds and somebody had already done got it. Then it looked like they put it back and then it was gone again. So, so yeah, uh, if you see a load, go ahead and pick it. You know what I'm saying? Don't wait. Let's go ahead and pick it and take it off. If you don't want to do it, take it off you later. You know, if you're on the truck smart app, uh, you can't take those loads off. You know, uh, they say they broke a load, so you can't take them off. No matter if you do have three and four days till you get there you can't take them off so that's the only time you can't take them off okay so but on the usa truck joint i just use that you know i ain't even trying to use the truck smart app but um 
on the USA Truck app, you know, you get if you get, if it got a few days on it or so, yeah, you can check it off. But um, but yeah, so I was looking at that load, which would have set me up right for next week, because I know if I add anything to this, I'm gonna make I'm gonna grow seven bands. And like I told y'all, when I grow seven bands, I bring home four thousand dollars. And um, you know, I, I I seen a couple of my partners. They doing they doing their thing. You know, shout out to my partners. Y'all know who y'all are. Yeah, they doing their thing out here. So you know, hopefully, I start seeing loads that fall in between this loads that I'm doing. Because if I'm able to work all six days, you know, back and forth. Because right now I'm doing three loads, so it's like every other day. So I pick up, I drive up here Sunday, pick up Monday late monday or monday afternoon deliver it tuesday did i get up tuesday night going into wednesday shut down wednesday morning pick up wednesday night get down there thursday you know drive back thursday going into friday shut down friday night and then head back saturday so it's only three loads but they pay so good you know it uh you know it's, it's decent you know what i'm saying but if i'm able to add anything to it i'm gonna I'm a run the numbers up and I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to run the numbers up. But, you know, for right now, it's good steady work because, you know, with everything going on, you know, the, the freight still kind of shaky. So, you know, I take with what I can get right now. That's what we got to do. We got to take what we can get. We got to get in where you fit in, homeboy. You feel me? So, um, you know, y'all just keep that in mind. You know, stay hawking that low board. You know, the schedule that I'm on, I can't really hawk it like I want to because I got to go to sleep, you know. Um but you know that's just how it is but you know you want to stay hawking that low board you know stay stay watching different markets different areas uh keep up with the markets too because you know the markets change every week you know they have so much freight over here and then they got all these trucks over there you know what i'm saying if you got all these freights this freight over here and it's barely any trucks that's where the good market at you know what i'm saying so uh just keep an eye on that i know my man brandon shout out to brandon uh, he used to post, uh, I think, freight waves thing showing you the, the hot spots in the market or what whatnot. But he haven't done it lately, so uh, I don't know. I may try to add that to my, you know, to my little channel. You know, post that, find something, you know, and post it and show y'all where the market's at. That way, you know, yeah, they may have different lows, they may have different rates than what we have, but it's gonna give you an idea of where you should be heading to. You feel me? So if you know. If you know that Chicago was the hot market, you know, as long as the weather good, you know, you feel comfortable and safe to drive up there, you know, take get something to go up there, you know. Uh, if you know Dallas is, is, is booming, you know, get a load down to Dallas. I seen Dallas, uh, one of my guys, shout out my guy, uh, Andre, uh, he asked me to do something about the Dallas joint. Um, I can tell you, I may do a video, but I can tell you I've seen loads coming out of Houston, going to Paris, Texas which is the Kimberly Clark. I think it was paying 700 bucks. The only thing that sucks about that, you can only do one a day because it's a live load when you pick up. So they want you on time on the live load. So that's the only thing, but you can at least knock down a quick 700, you know, for 250 miles, you know, and then do something else if you choose to. You could wait till the next day because they had a couple of them up there. I don't know if they're up there now. See, and, that, and that's the other thing is, when I'm telling y'all this stuff, you can't, you can't go to the low board and expect it to see it because now it's done been some time. It may have been a day a day or two. You got to be on that low board list, looking at all the markets, the places that you like to run, the places where you know it's freight at. You know, when you start going to these shaky places, I don't know because I ain't been. I ain't been to Utah yet. I ain't been to Seattle yet. I'm just out here moving. You know what I'm saying? So that's the thing you got to keep in mind. Um stay hawking on that low board the low board is part of your job you know if you neglect the low board you're not going to be able to do your job effectively and if you can't do it effectively that ain't that mean you ain't making no money you feel me so um so yeah so i seen these lows from houston going up to kimberly clark paris texas uh when you get to paris texas it's a dropping hook uh i have seen campbell soup loads come out of there up there in Paris, Texas. I haven't seen them lately, though. But I'm pretty sure they still have them. So if you always, you know, if you keep a lookout, you might see something coming out of Paris, Texas. Or or, or you may get a load going, coming out of Kimberly Clark. When a couple of weeks ago, when I grossed that seven, seven bands, uh, I got a load coming out of Kimberly Clark going back to 
um, West Jefferson, Ohio. So that was two bands right there. So that added on to these Florence, Kentucky loads. That's how I made seven bands. And, you know, of course, all that was used to, um, you know, for my arrears. But if you can make seven bands, if you can grow seven bands, you're going to bring home some change. You feel me? So it's out here. Uh, you got to find your markets. You got to find your lanes where you want to run at. And more, more most importantly, you got to be on that low board to find the big dollars. You got to be. You know, they getting gone like that. They getting gone like that. I wish I had a a, a, a magic solution to help y'all, you know, get these lows, but they gone. I mean, they, I mean, the one that I seen was over two bands, had a good fuel surcharge on it, but it was gone. I was even too slow. So we got, you got to be on it. You know what I'm saying? You got to be on it. You got to be watching that joint. You got to be dang near crazy, you know, doing this for real you got to be crazy you got to be a little psycho you know what i'm saying you got to be crazy for that money if you want the bread you're gonna do it you know what i'm saying but i ain't gonna hold y'all up i just wanted to check in with y'all uh i got some good rest today as y'all could tell i'm a little bit more lively than the last time i checked in with y'all so um you know as the weeks start piling up for me this is this will be um probably about a month and two weeks or something like that i've been doing this i had a little break then I'm gonna have to go home and get my new license because uh one of the one of the uh shippers they forgot to give me my license so that's why I had to run home in uh, a couple weeks ago so I came back out so now that you know this will be my uh second week running even though I didn't get paid like I needed to if I would have got paid like I needed to yeah we be we'd be sitting you know grandstanding right now. But uh, next week I add on, and then the week after that, so we'll keep going. So I may go home after two weeks and get my new license, and then come back, just seeing how things work out. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for y'all. Y'all know, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know, uh, I appreciate y'all checking in with me. Shout out to my boy Todd. Shout out my, to my boy Robert. Shout out to my boy Brandon. Shout out to my boy andre hey we're gonna make this thing move and uh and and a few other people that been hitting me up and stuff i know one of my guys just went through uh or he started orientation last week or he going this week and shout out to my guy brand bradley he going to orientation this week so uh you know um it's it can be done you know and now we about to see the weather change and you know i'm gonna run it up either way i ain't gonna say maybe for me i'm gonna run it up you know now, if I stay over here, it may be a little bit different. I kind of like, uh, since this being my third year, I kind of like having something that's a little bit more, you know, uh, uh, consistent. So, just to get me to October, you know, because I'm holding a lot of cars right now. You know, like I told my guy Bradley last night, I'm holding a lot of cars. So, I'm weighing my options, but I'm holding a lot of cars to where if I make it through this lease, then I'm, I'm king. You know what I'm saying? I got I, I got the Trump card, you know, with me. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate y'all checking in with me. It's your boy, Southside Man, Truck Boss. We out.